The vCenter Server Appliance Management Interface, or VAMI, enables you to perform administrative tasks on the vCenter Server Appliance, such as viewing the overall health status, rebooting or shutting down, creating a support bundle of log files, monitoring CPU, network, disk, and memory use, configuring file-based backups, and checking for updates and patching. Starting with vSphere 6.7 Update 1, new functionality in VAMI includes the ability to manage firewall rules on the vCenter server appliance. Previously, you could only manage firewall rules using the VAMI APIs, and you can now log into VAMI with a local SSO user account. To manage firewall settings and rules on the vCenter server appliance, log in to VAMI. Click Firewall. To add a rule, click Add and fill out the new firewall rule form. Here we add two rules. The first allows packets on the specified IP address. The second ignores packets. To edit a rule, click Edit, make your changes, and click Save. To reorder rules, click Reorder, select the rule to move, move the rule up or down, and click Save. To delete a rule, select the rule and click Delete. At the prompt, click Delete again. Starting with vSphere 6.7 Update 1, you can log into VAMI with a local SSO user account as long as the user is a member of the System Configuration Administrators group. From a security perspective, using a local SSO user account to manage VAMI makes it easier to audit the user who logged in and track actions performed by that user. Note that when logged into VAMI with a local SSO user account, you cannot change user passwords. To add a user to the System Configuration Administrators group, log into the vSphere client, select Administration, then select Users and Groups under Single Sign On. If you need to add the user, select the vSphere.local domain, click Add User, enter the user information, and click Add. To add the user to the System Configuration Administrators group, click Groups. Find the System Configuration Administrators group. Here, we use the filter icon to filter on System. Select Edit Group from the ellipsis menu. Select the domain, search for the user to add, select the user, and click OK. The local SSO user will now have permission to log into VAMI. Verify that the user can now log into VAMI. In a browser, log into the appliance IP address on port 5480. The interface is displayed and the local SSO user can now perform VAMI administration. For additional information about using VAMI to administer the vCenter server appliance, see vCenter server appliance configuration documentation and visit docs.vmware.com.